it add, we'll add ambiance back there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deborah. You guys are watching Simply Deborah, where I create content all about fashion, beauty, and everyday living. And if that is something that interests you with me, I hope you will become a part of my family. Come on, it's free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below. I would love to have you join the family. Guys, guys, I'm in the kitchen, but I am not cooking. I actually just went and um, my husband and I just went um, to the grocery store. So I just wiped and put off everything. Y'all, is grocery shopping a job for y'all? When you come home, you gotta wipe everything off and it's just so exhausting. It's like, oh my God. So yes, yeah, so I just wiped everything off, but I didn't wipe off the stuff I got from Home Goods. Y'all, I haven't did a Home Goods in like forever. So I actually went to Home Goods today. I went to Home Goods and to TJ Maxx, picked up a few items that I want to share with you guys on. So I wanna share my Kleenex. Actually, we went to Target, we went to Amazon Fresh, we went to Whole Foods, and we went to, um, Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So yeah, we were quite busy. We left at 12.30. We didn't get home until, I wanna say about um, five o'clock. Yeah, it's been about an hour and a half. So we ate pizza that I have on the stove. We ate pizza and yeah. So now I'm getting ready to, and I wiped and put everything up. So now I'm getting ready to do this haul with y'all. My husband, always have an uh he loved to decorate the backyard if i have any clippets of it i'll post it on here but if not i'll post the video of us doing our backyard but anywho he found these lanterns which i thought were really really nice he picked these up from home goods and y'all i think they are gorgeous what do y'all think they're so cute they have a cup in here for the candle so he stated that he wanted to find a cup that um or a candle that can keep away bugs so hopefully we can find that at like lowe's or home depot but this is the lantern so it is really nice he picked up two of these so this great find was or shall i say this great buy was only 16.99 so it's really nice it's nice a nice size i think it add will add ambiance back there especially at nighttime with the candles burning. I think this would be so cute. He has string up lights that he hang on his gazebo. So I think that it's gonna be really nice. So yeah, as you guys see, we're trying to get ready for spring and summer. Uh, being that last year, everything went so quick because the pandemic, everybody was at home. So yeah, the same thing this year. We actually, it was so weird because my husband and I was in Target not that long ago and we were in the bike out. And I mean, when I tell y'all they had so many bikes, oh my God, today we went back, they had two, one, two bikes, that's it. So if you want a bike, I suggest that you go and do it now because they're going off the shelves and we have quite a few bikes in our garage. So we didn't need one. But anyway, here's the second one that he got. And like I said, those were $16.99. So he picked those up. And then, y'all know I went to my daughter-in-law house and she had, oh my God, she had bouquet of flowers everywhere and it looked just so nice. So we actually went, when I was out today, I was looking for um, a bouquet of some flowers, but I couldn't find anything. I know Jewels, our local grocery store here in Chicago, has really nice flowers. Amazon Fresh really didn't have anything good. And Amazon, I mean, um, Whole Foods didn't have anything good. So I'm gonna check probably Jewels tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment. So while I'm out, I'll probably check there. But I found these two nice vases for flowers to go in. Let me sit this down. I should have put you on my tripod, but I didn't. So here's that. And it's really short, it's really nice. This is the size of it. And I can have some flowers that come out of it. Cut the stems really short. And this is what it looked like. I think this is so cute. It has legs on it. And guys, this was only $9.99. So real nice, ceramic. 
So I brought that one and I brought a bigger one. So here's the bigger one and then I brought the smaller one. So this is it. And I actually want to fit, fix my entryway when you come in my home. I want to, I have a shelf up front that I really want to decorate it really nice. So this is the beginning of that. So that is what I brought those for. As you can see, my daughter has some roses here, pink. Oh my God, smells so good. She picked those up last weekend when we were gone. And so I picked those up. And then what else did I pick up from Home Goods? Oh, so I cleaned up my linen cabinet um, yesterday as I was cleaning up my house. And so I came across a box of Q-tips. And I'm like, this box of Q-tips? And then it was only like half of it filled. And I'm like, why don't I have a Q-tip box? Um, something that I can put the q-tips in so that it doesn't take up a lot of room and I can get rid of this big box so I end up buying um, this right here and it says bath on the front and you put the q-tips in here so I thought this was really 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 nice and then I can sit this on the counter and I also brought a matching Soap dish. The only thing they didn't have to match was um, the soap dispensary. So they didn't have that. I have one in there, so I guess I'll continue using that one. But they had the soap dish, so I got that, which it matches. And then I picked up the Kleenex box because they had that too. I purchased on Amazon. A, um, a clear Kleenex box, but it gets so dirty with like fingerprints and then the Kleenex cotton, it's just, it's too much. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna use this one. And so this is the Kleenex box. Never fit fails. When I get to filming, the phone wanna ring. And I know it's nobody important, y'all. On a Sunday, hello? And then they hang up on me. So, um, so yes, I picked up that matching set and here it is. So it is the Q-tip holder. It is the Kleenex box. And then it is the soap dish. So I thought that was really nice and it matches. So I'll put this on my kitchen, I mean on my bathroom countertop. And then I picked up some hand soap at, um, where did I get this from? Home Goods, Eucalyptus um, hand soap. It smelled really, really good. And it was only $7.99 and it's so big. This is a 32 fluid ounce, so We'll have that for a while. So I got that as well. So I throw those in the garbage. And then all of you all know I went vacation to Las Cabos and the room smelled so good. It had um, essential oil and the, um, it had the essential oil in the, uh, you know what, I want that one. In the um, diffuser. So it had eucalyptus and it smelled, when I tell y'all that room smelled so freaking good. The whole hotel smelled, oh my God, really, really good. So I ended up picking up one so that I can have my house smell like that. And this is the ultrasonic essential or diffuser with remote. And I got this one from Target. Um, this is from Project 62. And I thought it was really nice. And then I picked up the eucalyptus um, oil, 
for it. So, and then I picked up some more at TJ Maxx. I picked up this one because y'all know TJ Maxx have really, really, really good deals when it comes to stuff like this. This one I think was only, this one was $19.99. Target, you're gonna pay a little bit more money for them, but I picked up quite a few because my husband went crazy with them. So I picked up this one. So it's really nice, it's small. The biggest one is from Target. And then I picked up a couple of small ones. So I said I can put some in the basement. We have a, our spare bedroom is in the basement. So I was like, I can put that in there and have it smell really good. And then they had a aromatherapy um, essential oils. And this was a package. It has bergamot, coconut, eucalypt. Now I cannot pronounce it. Eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass, and tea tree. So I got this one. And what else did I get? Oh, I got this candle. It was only $15. I was like, oh my God. And when I tell y'all this smells so good, it says happiness. I got this from Home Goods. It smells. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I picked up this one. Y'all, I have been burning candles and my house have been smelling really, really, really good. I picked up this pink one, which it was only $6.99. Oh, that smells good as well. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these lids off though right now. Um, get my Clorox wipes. But that is what I picked up from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So I am going to try to find some more stuff. Um, like I said, for my entryway cabinet to try to decorate that really, really nice and seasonal. So I am on the hunt for looking for stuff like that. I probably go to Kirkland because usually Kirkland has really nice things that can go in that. And I might go to um, Hobby Lobby as well. So I may do that tomorrow. I have a doctor appointment at the device clinic. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that once I leave my doctor's appointment, go there and see what I can find that's affordable and that's not costly. But I haven't did a home decor in quite some time. So I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you will become a part of my family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below. I would love to have you join the team. Go ahead, become a part of the family, become a part of what we do, love on one another. And yeah, that's it. If you are returning, hello, hey, welcome, and thank you so much for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it. But this is what we have. And when I start decorating my front entryway I'm going to take you guys along and show you everything but I am in love with these vases oh my god so nice hey y'all sorry about that good morning I hope everybody is having a blessed day it is Monday and y'all I got a doctor's appointment I know seem like I'm always in the car going to a doctor's appointment I'm good I swear I'm good but I have to go for my checkup for my um, device. So I'm on my way to do that. My appointment was at 9.30. It's 9.03. I got off the house late. So hopefully I make it in time, y'all. But I did want to go to Hobby Lobby when I get out of there into um, Hobby Lobby. And where else did I want to go to? Should go to Home Goods. I mean, no, not Home Goods. I went to Home Goods yesterday. I forgot the name of that store. But anyway, I am getting ready to do that. Um, head to this um, doctor's appointment. And the good thing is, it's not that far. It's a distance, but it's not as far as my doctor. Um, where my doctor office is at so it's in a different direction so but I do have to get on the expressway to get there only because it'll save me time from the streets so 
That's why I'm taking the expressway. I wish trucks could operate like on a time schedule, not like at nighttime or I don't know, in the evening, but not in the morning. I know they're trying to get to their destination, but move out the way. I want to get to my destination. <clears throat> so what are y'all doing this week? Uh, any plans? I know spring break is in effect for a lot of people. Are you guys doing anything for spring break? I'm not doing anything this week but working. And yeah, this weekend was the first weekend I've been at home. For the last two weekends because I've been out of town and boy did it feel good to get up clean up my house and do everything that I needed to do I went grocery shopping yesterday with my husband we went to a couple of other stores we went to uh, oh Kirkland is the other store I think I might go to and today is my dad's birthday y'all yeah, like it off track so quick but anyway so yesterday my husband and I we went to a couple of stores we went to home goods and we went to TJ Maxx and we went to the grocery store, we went to Amazon Fresh, and then to uh, Whole Foods, and got a couple of items. And so, today, I may go to Kirkland. I'm going to see, y'all, these cars are flying on this expressway like they are really late. Well, if you were that late, you should have got up earlier to leave. Don't come behind me, flying up behind me. Making me nervous. But I want to go to, I think I might go to Kirkland today. Today's my dad's birthday. He turned 80 years old. Happy birthday, dad. I'm going to go get him a card, get him a some money out the bank, put a card in his, some money in his card. He only like money, y'all. So that's what he's getting never know what to buy well my dad is easy to buy for he's appreciative of anything if I brought him in a coke he would be happy but I'm gonna go and get some money for him and let him go and get what he wants to get and um, focus I hate going to the device clinic oh my god I I dread it like nothing in this world I hate for them to mess with my pacemaker because seem like they have to they have to make sure all the settings is still good then they tell me the battery life on it then they tell me a whole bunch of stuff I usually go to these appointments three times out of a year so this is my first one this year for March and then I'll have another one in three months and the next one in three months so I'll do that and they'll check it make sure everything is going well they'll tell me how many times it have went off if it have paced it it any hopefully it hasn't paced and hopefully they can adjust some settings because y'all me and this pacemaker do not get along my body is super 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 sensitive to anything and everything all kinds of sounds and anytime my stomach growl anything happen um it can set my pacemaker pace it and i hate the feeling of it pacing because it feel like it's, it takes my breathing away. So, hopefully they can tweak it just a little bit. It's good now, but it's hard for me to lay down and adjust from one side to the next side because I guess when I'm laying down, my body, you know, all your organs go to one side. And so, I guess my organs is pressing on something that make it feel like that I'm pacing and then it sets it off. So, and it doesn't depend, it doesn't, um, matter which side I'm laying on whether it's my right or left it happens and so at first it was they had to tweak it because anytime I would lean forward it would pace so if I was brushing my teeth bent over the sink sink it would take my breathing away if I would bend down to tie my shoe it would take my breathing away if I bent over to make the bed it would take my breathing away so they adjusted it and put it on different settings so now it on it pays it's not as bad as it was but it still I think can be tweaked a little bit more where I don't feel it at all I don't want to feel it at all and 
like I said, my body is super sensitive and I'm little. And she was telling me, she was like, Miss Crowder, you're so little. And um, your, um, your body is super sensitive. So unfortunately you can feel that. And I'm so sorry, but I put it on the most sensitive setting and I don't know what else we can do. So I'm gonna ask her if she could tweak it a little bit more. She's probably gonna be like, well, we have it on the, the least bit of setting right now. I'm like, oh, I hate going through life like that. But hopefully we'll see. We'll see what they can do. I'm hoping and praying y'all. But other than that, I'm good. Have no issues, no, no problems. only problem I have right now is these cars get out my way so that I can make it to my appointment that would be amazing this lady just drove past me with a full ski coat on over her head she must have no heat in the car all you see is this big fur around her face I guess I would check back in with you all when I get to the doctor's office I may see if she can allow me to have my cameras in there. It's so many machines in there though, so she probably tell me, no, we can't have that. So, if not, oh well. When I first get in, they check me in, they do an EKG, um, check my blood pressure, all that good stuff, make sure everything is okay. And then they get to messing with this. And then she'll change it on different settings. How you been? And then I'm gonna tell her how I've been. Hopefully the appointment don't go. Usually my appointment lasts for about half an hour. So, but anyway, I'll see you guys when I make it there. I'm not that far from it. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Nobody told me to settle Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Hey guys! Something oh my god! About you I am so tired When I tell y'all I have been up and gone since 7 30 this morning and it was not a work day what what oh my god your girl is tired got up had a doctor's appointment y'all saw a little bit of that riffraff of me going there ended up doing that nope she did not change the pace on it everything stayed the same because of course when she tried to stimulate what was happening when I go to sleep, it did not happen. Of course, right? That always happens. When you want something to happen, it don't happen. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So anyway, so get that out the way. Went with my mom to at home, went over my dad house or my parents house. Today, like I stated earlier, my dad celebrated his 80th birthday today. So I was over there for a little while. He got his DNA results back from Ancestry. Oh my God. It was so enlightening. Um, being that he was adopted and never knew his birth dad. He knew his birth mom but wasn't aware of his birth dad. So to find out his DNA and what he is made of was very enlightening to all of us. We always knew he was mixed with something but just didn't know what it was. <laughs> we thought he had a little Spanish in him, maybe a little Mexican. Um, yeah, nope, none of that. Nope. My dad is straight up European. <laughs> so, um, he got like, I think it was like, how much percentage? Um, how much percentage did um, dad have of European? Like he was predominantly like, European. Uh, 80%? Yeah, very little percent of, um, his birth mom was black. His birth dad that we just found out was a white man so based upon his dna sorry what <laughs> wale sorry wale has sent me a message he was like now nah, he pissed off 
because they might be doing a four stimulus check. And he don't he don't even qualify for the first one because he makes too much money. Oh my god! Because he makes like six figures, so it's like now they talk about a fourth fourth check. So guys, <laughs> so I did that, and so that took up a lot of time because I was over my mom and house. We were going through his DNA, going through his um family and just relatives that he didn't know he had. We was messaging some of them so that we can get to know his family. Um, so yeah, so I did that. And at home, I actually picked up, I thought I was gonna get to this today, but y'all, I am so tired. I'm getting ready to cook dinner. But I brought this beautiful little wood piece that will go on my entryway table. And then, yeah, I like that. And then I brought some papori that I'm gonna put in there. And it's brown, so I thought that that would match it very well. And then I purchased, I've been needing some sheets. Y'all, y'all know what I really need? I really need a good pillow. So if y'all know of any good pillow brands, please comment down below and let me know because I really, 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 really need a good pillow. My back has been killing me and it's all because of my pillow. I have a pillow that I purchased off of Amazon, which is really good. It's like a, um, like that, like runs in a diagonal, not straight. And, um, I can sleep on that, but after like a week, it makes my back hurt because my body is slant. It like rises you up. So almost like a hospital bed where you're not laying flat, but I need to lay flat. I need me a good pillow is what I need. So if y'all know of any good pillows, please let me know. So I did purchase some sheets from at home. They are these 1000 thread count and they say luxury sheet set. So I brought a white set um, in a king size. I was actually looking at a pink set that I want to get. I actually want to get a new bedding set. So I want to do all of that, y'all. So if y'all know of any good pillows, please let me know. Then I picked up some more of these that will go into my box because this matches the color scheme in my living room. And I picked these up because I need them for my faucets for my refrigerator for my microwave for my dishwasher for my stove yes i needed these these are stainless sheets if y'all have this if y'all have stainless steel appliances and faucets this does magic works wonders remove all fingerprints this is really really good so i needed some more of that so i got that and then what else did i get oh and i got this um tray from at home it is just a simple tray I just got it because it was super duper cheap it's just a tray so it has a brown in it it's really really cute it wasn't expensive at all $7.99 so I picked that up so that is what I got from at home so now I am getting ready to make some salmon and my husband wanted some he got trout fish so I'm getting ready to cook that before I can eat and wind down and relax. I'm gonna try to edit this video so that it can be up tomorrow, but if not, it will be up the next following day because I am so tired. I wanted to actually film and get ready with me and that ain't happening tonight. So yeah, my weekend has just been consumed by a lot of doing things, catching up, um, first weekend back from going out of town and just getting my house back in order. So. Yeah, that is what I've been consumed with, guys. So I'm gonna go, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome, I hope you will become a part of my family. Go ahead right now, hit that little red subscribe button. Don't wait until tomorrow, do it today while it's fresh in your mind and I'm here. And if you are returning, hey, welcome and thank you so much for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it. Guys, y'all have been wonderful. I love y'all to the moon and back, but I'm gonna get ready to eat and then wind down. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Until then, love, peace, and y'all know what? Happiness. Bye. If you love me, let me hear you say my name.